Now, if you've got a blog or a website and you want to get some kind of interaction on there, well, comments are probably the way that you go about doing it. But if you're a WordPress user, you'll know that that comes with a lot of problems, abuse, junk, all those kinds of things get spammed and just annoy. it just becomes frustrating. Well, we're going to take a look at a free plugin from the people from Fluent who've dealt with Fluent CRM, Fluent Forms and those kinds of things. This is called Fluent Comments, Spam Protection, Anti-Spam and so on. It's totally free and it's incredibly easy to install. Basically, you install it and that's all there is to it. So let's take a quick look at how it all works. Now we take a look at a typical post on my site. You'll see we've got a comment section at the bottom and this is using that Fluent comment. As you can see, everything looks nice. It fits into the style and overall aesthetic of the site itself. Pretty cool. So how do we go about installing it? It's very easy. You go, install it, activate it and you're done. Basically, that's all there is to it. Once you've done it, you can see there's a bit of information on here, but it doesn't really give us a lot. Once it's installed, there's no configuration, no settings, no nothing. So let's take a quick look. I'm logged in and I want to leave a comment. So you'll notice that all I get is a little comment box because I'm an administrator, I'm logged in. Let's just go and add a comment. And see, as soon as I click inside there, it asks me to post a comment. So we'll say, there's my comment and we'll click post comment and that's immediately added to the site. I don't need to confirm it or anything else. And if I want to reply to someone, let's say for example, I can reply to this one, we'll hit reply and you can see we now get an inline comment. We'll just type in something else, click on post comment, and you can see we now get those nested comments, everything you're used to, so it looks really nice and integrated. But it's slightly different if you are not logged in and you don't have those privileges. I've got the site open, the same post open, and I'm using this in an incognito window. So you can see everything is listed inside you, including the same kind of option for the comments. Once I click inside, I get some different options. I can't just go ahead and just type something in and have it appear on the site. So let's try this out. So now if I try to post the comment, you'll see, ah, I need to fill something in. So I can't just start spamming things. So let's put a name in. Put an email address in, now click post comment, and you can see the comment has been added in, but only for me. You can see your comment is awaiting moderation. So it's been added so I can see it, but no one else will. Now, if we go to the dashboard of WordPress and go into our comments section, all of our comments are listed inside here. Anything that's new will be highlighted like you can see, pretty much exactly the same as you're used to anyway. And you can see where it's come from, the IP address, all those kinds of useful bits of information. And now what we can do is we can approve it, reply to it, edit, spam, bin, all the usual things. So now if I want to go ahead and approve it, I can click on approve. If I want to edit it, I can edit it. So all the options are available to me inside here. Really is that simple. And then when I say I'm happy with this, I can say we'll approve it or we can mark it as spam. We'll say update. Hopping back over to the site, you can see there's the new comment all being confirmed and available on the site so people can now see it. As you'd expect, it works pretty much exactly the same as what you see when you're working with the comment section that's native to WordPress. But what's going on, on behind the scenes? Well, if we take a quick look at the overall information about it, there's not a lot here. It's using Ajax powered real time comments. There's no page refreshes, which is nice and smooth. It's got spam protection with advanced cryptographic mechanisms. So that's what's kind of handling it. So I'm hoping that as this gets more and more use, then the overall kind of database of spam and all those kinds of things will grow and therefore reduce even more from having spam as an issue. But I'm going to test this on one or two of my kind of blog orientated sites to see how it works if I get feedback on it and those kinds of things. Now, at this point in time, it's worth bearing in mind, this should work with pretty much any theme except for full site editing themes. That I think is coming in the future. It's also compatible with all page builders. Now, there's a couple of things I would like to see. I'd like to have some control over the styling and, and those kinds of things. So it's great that it looks good on my site, but I'd like to have the ability to easily go and just add this in line to my design so it doesn't take it this full width. I'd like to have it as a standard block that I can sort of put into Gutenberg or you know any kind of plugin that we want to use, like Elementor and so on. I'd like to have the ability to customize the color scheme that's being used here. It's okay this use of these kinds of things, but it would still be nice to have easy control over setting those up for the styling, those simple things. Other than that, so far, so good. But have you used this yourself or are you thinking of trying it out? Let me have your comments and feedback in the comment section below. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.